Hi guys, I'm back again with another video for you. So today I thought I'd do something really cool. I wanted to see if I could kind of build a makeup look with no eyeshadow, but build a makeup look just basically using the Beauty Bay app and refining my search for each item that I'm gonna be putting on my face by changing the filter from priced low to high and basically just see what I could get. Um, I've got pretty much everything here for a full face. I've got lashes, I've got foundation, I've got contour, highlighter, concealer, we've got blusher. Um, and all in total, it cost me £36 for everything that I'm going to be using and trying out for you today. Um, every single product I've got in front of me, I haven't tried before. Apart from the lip gloss. I've used the lip gloss, but that's fine. I just thought we could have a little bit of fun and um, yeah, just try out some new products together. So the first thing I've done, I've moisturised my face, but I haven't added a primer. And the reason for that is because I'm using a stick foundation. And this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Shell Ivory. Um, again, cruelty free, really happy about that. And we're just going to see how this goes on. We're just going to put a primer on. I didn't buy a primer, so I am going to use my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm just going to put it in the places where I find I need a bit of better adhesion. And underneath as a base, I'm wearing the Glam Glow. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturiser. I've done quite a lot of makeup content videos for you now. The next video I film and have edited will be a, another conspiracy or conspire slash mystery video for you. Um, but if you guys would like to see any videos about my skincare and the products that I love and things that I've been using and maybe we could do like a get unready with me and I'll take all my makeup off on camera and show you what I do for daily skincare. So if that's something you want, let me know. Comment down below. Face is primed. and I'm going to go in with the stick foundation. So I'm probably going to take a small dense brush. I have the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I do like that foundation it's not very breathable. So it will be interesting to see if this is a bit cheaper, if it's a bit less like high coverage, whether this is a bit more wearable. So I'm literally, oh shit. Okay. It might be a little on the light side for me. I kind of discovered that I've been wearing um, foundation that's too light for me for a really long time. I do have neutral um, underlying skin tones. So I'm going to take, this is a real technique, so I think this is a sculpting brush and I'm going to buff that into my skin. I might add more yet, I might build up the coverage because I didn't, I didn't actually put any on my nose. I have a couple of blemishes here on my cheek. So far, it's not kind of accentuated the dryness around those, so that's good. And it doesn't feel oily either. I don't have that kind of like caked on feeling yet. So for a cheap foundation, do you know what? If this works, I'll be happy. I can spend, I've spent up to, the most I've spent on a foundation in my life has been £45. So this was nowhere near that. And if it works well, I'll be happy. For me, finding a decent product isn't necessarily about it being a hyped product or something that's like quite high in price. If it works, it works. And I do prefer my foundations to be more on the kind of like skin-like in texture. I don't mind a bit of coverage, but... I like my skin to look like skin as opposed to something that's kind of been caked on. I'm going to build that up a little bit more down my nose and just a bit more here just because I feel like that's a little on the lighter. It's really easy to buff in as well with this with a brush like this. Let's have a look and see how it looks on camera. It looks as as I thought it would. It looks better on camera than it does in person. It doesn't feel unnatural, it doesn't feel like it's, it doesn't look like it's just sat on my skin. I am going to have to do a bit of spot concealing though, unfortunately. Okay, so that's the foundation on. It looks nice, it's got kind of like, um, it's a bit glowy, like my face is still quite shiny, but it doesn't feel oily and it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel overly tacky, so that's probably quite a good sign. So the next product I'm going to try, the Eye Bright illuminating under eye concealer in the shade 
ooh, light and this is by revolution makeup revolution i have a feeling it's no secret that revolution do a lot of duplicates for more expensive products i had so just look at this packaging so th this is this is the concealer this is the revolution one and this is the charlotte tilby concealer yeah i definitely think they're trying to do you know what they do it so shamelessly though i've seen so many videos of people i remember the big scandal when they bought out the shade and light contour palette and everyone was like oh my god you're ripping kat von d makeup off and all this and it seems they're still doing it so you've got a little sponge got a little sponge tip applicator there do you know what nothing's oh, oh okay you have to kind of like twist 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 i'd have maybe pre-twisted this if i didn't know it was going to take so long yeah it's very liquidy it's not it's not a lot of thickness to it unlike the and i'm just gonna under my eye oh i don't like the sound see if the camera picks it up i hate that i know it's a under eye concealer and i assumed it would be a straight rip off of the charlotte tilbury concealer so i honestly thought it would spot conceal like my charlotte tilbury concealer does but it's an under eye one so if it doesn't cover my spots i probably won't slate it too much because one this is a challenge it's supposed to be fun and two it's claiming to be an eye concealer so i'm not going to be not going to be pissy if it doesn't cover is it me or has that got a lot darker that's oxi that's oxidized this was not that dark when i first put it on okay that's definitely oxidized and in terms of brightening my eye if it was as light as it first went on when i put it on i've got i've got the concealer here let's just see if it did oxidize or it's just me so this is the concealer i put previously put on yeah you can see dark dark light that's oxidized that's definitely oxidized okay bit disappointing I don't think I paid masses for it. I think it was about eight pounds or something like that. It might even been less. Again, we'll put the prices up on the screen for you, and we'll link everything in the description as well. Yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, because I've got like an orange tinge under my eyes now. I can see it in the on the mirror, but I can't see it. It's kind of darker under here. Weird. Yep. It's done what I thought it had. I thought it was just me. I thought it was just like a, it playing tricks on my eyes. And then when I looked in the, I looked in the camera. I was like, "Bitch, that's darker. That's definitely darker." I'm gonna set my face using the NYX HD finishing powder. To be honest, this wasn't particularly expensive, and I'm just gonna set the high point, the kind of like shiniest points of my face. I always find um, some foundations, when you put a powder over the top of them, they look a bit funny, they look a bit... But you know what? That powder has sat... That powder has sat really nicely over the top of that stick foundation. I'm not mad at it. I am not mad. I'm going to do my brows next. And I've I've seen these before, never bought them. So this is this is Sample Beauty's Brow, brow Alchemy. And the reason I looked at this, I did a bit of a double take because I thought it might have been like a cream eye product or like a concealer. No, it's a syringe. Oh, it's a syringe. And from what I can see, it's like um, a bit, it's supposed to be like a bit of a pomade. Um, seemingly magical process of transformation, creation, combination. The Sample Beauty Brow Alchemy Eyebrow Cream is easy to use, long wearing, smudge proof. Oh, bitch. If this shit's smudge proof, yes. The shades were, the shades were weird. They were like, this is in the shade. I think this is actually fudge. Okay. Oh, so you've got like a little rubber kind of rubber cap and then you, okay. I'm gonna squeeze it onto the back of my hand. I'm not sure how much I need. I'm just gonna start with a really, really, really itty bitty amount oh no it keeps going okay right okay packaging looks cool but if you don't get the lid on the tube straight away it just keeps pumping out like a real syringe so that is definitely something to consider when buying this product oh it's 
quite liquidy. I'm used to quite a dry brow product. Look, I'm just going to do my brows how I would normally do them. Okay. I'm not too sure if I've got enough of the product. So it felt quite slidey on my hand versus how it's kind of going onto the brow. I'm, I don't feel like I'm kind of losing control or going all over the place. And so far, the colour match isn't bad. It's a little more warm toned than I would usually have my brows actually works quite well i honestly didn't have many high hopes for this which i feel quite bad saying but i'm so used to not being able to find a brow product that works for me that i'm always quite apprehensive trying a new one but no this works i'm happy i think this is quite nice you do have to kind of I mean, I have to do this when I use pomade anyway, but you do kind of have to take the brush if you're using an angled brush and just kind of gently pull in like hair stroke like directions just to kind of keep from having that patchiness in the brow. But I've generally, I'm quite used to doing that when I do, because this is how I do my brows when I do them with pomade anyway. Do you know what? I kind of like this and I'm not mad at the colour. On camera, it looks hella dark, but in real life, so I've done my brows and I have to say, I'm actually a fan of this and I really didn't think I would be. I mean, I'm looking at it and in the tube, it just doesn't look like it's my colour, but then putting it on, it, it works like on camera and looking at it in real life. Like I haven't gone outside in it yet. It might be more red toned and kind of like it's picking up on camera and in my lighting and my mirror, but I like this. I, I love the packaging. I love the way it looks. I think it's really, really cool. And it's a really gives you a good indication of like how much you've used as well. So this is actually super useful. But Sample Beauty, yes. And do you know what? This was $4.95 originally, which is already an amazing price for a brow product, right? $2.95. Don't quote me on that. I'll, in, I'll leave it here. It will be here somewhere. $2.95. I'm happy with that. Next, I'm going to move on to contour. So for contour, there weren't many options that I would deem to be like affordable or options that, I don't know, this seemed like the best option to me. So this is another product by Revolution. So this is the Sculpt and Glow Savannah Lights. And looking out on camera, it looks like it's going to be quite a nice cool tone brown for me. It looks like it's going to work really well, but it does look a bit dark in person. So we'll just, I'm going to take a very, very light hand and see how it goes. I'm going to do my contour first and then I'm going to move on to cheeks and highlight. So I'm using the contour side. This doesn't appear to have any shimmer in. Okay. It's probably my bad because I'm not using um, a brush that I would normally use to put contour on with. This brush here is quite dense and I prefer a slightly looser brush when I'm doing my contour because I feel I can get a really good blend without moving my primer and my foundation and everything like that underneath it. But it's okay, it's a bit, it looks a bit red, but then I can't tell if that's my redness of my skin. I will say that depending on what foundation you have on that you're putting this on top of, it, it's, <laughs> blendability isn't great and i think yeah just from looking that is slightly too dark for me this looks like a straight up bronzer and it's it's a sculpt and glow kit it's a contour literally says contour and highlight highlight palette kit so but if you're on that one i do i do have um a beauty bay powder highlighter and i do have the highlight that comes as part of this kit I don't know if I'm going to use this one because just based on how dark this was on my skin, I'm probably going to use the Beauty Bay one, but I will do a little swatch for you just so you can kind of see. Yeah, it's coming up really golden. Yeah. It's got that kind of cast, so when you see it in one light, it's like this, like it's dark. And then it's kind of lighter. That's going to be too dark for my skin. It's nice. You know, it'd be good for when I've got a tan or just kind of bronzing up the collarbones with it a bit but i'm gonna stick to the highlighter that i actually bought 
I really did just buy this to try this out. Um, so we're going to use the Beauty Bay highlighter. Before I do my highlight, I'm going to do um, blusher. So this is by, this is another Wet n Wild product. We've got, it's called Nudist Society. Yeah, Nudist Society. It's kind of like a nice warm tone, like peach. Do you know what? How the fucking hell did you get into it? I finally got in. So there it is. And it's got some kind of gold reflex. There was a blush by MAC. I don't know if they still make it. I think it's called Trace Gold. This reminds me of Trace Gold by MAC that I used to use back in the day. So this could actually be quite nice. Let's see how it goes on the skin. Seems quite pigmented, a lot of dust. I'm just gonna pat it on. I don't like I'm wearing highlighter already and I'm really not. Yeah, that, um, the Charlotte Tilbury rip off the Revolution concealer, it does brighten, but in terms of colour, it doesn't brighten because it's definitely too, it's definitely oxidised on me, which is disappointing. I think if a, if a product says, oh, it's these tones and it's this colour, then realistically it needs to be that colour when it's on and when it's dry. I'm just going to put a little bit of blush up here because I didn't want to use that contour powder on my forehead. It just seemed to too dark for my liking yep i like that blush it's nice it's giving me good pigment and i'm able to control how much pigment i use as well um i'm not having to kind of really keep loading it on or anything like that and i'm not finding it hard to blend out i think that's if i didn't have that contour yeah if i didn't have that contour it wouldn't be as dark so i like this and do you know what this cost why am i trying to remember I'm going to put it here or it'll have already been here. This cost not a lot of money. Okay, next I'm going to do my highlighter. So this is the Beauty Bay highlighter and it's in the shade Flash. I will do you a little swatch. I'm running out of spaces to swatch things. Oh shit. Yeah, okay, it blends, that's fine. It looks a little bit, I've got one of these already. I think it's in the shade Glaze, which is kind of like a pinky champagne color. And that one's beautiful. I will say I prefer a natural, non-glittery, non-chunky, non-cat. Like when you get that cast, I don't like that color cast. And I don't like them chunky or glittery. This is a little chunky and glittery. However, I feel like it softens throughout the day or you can blend it to soften it. I'm taking it on a little tapered brush oh it does kind of it does what's the word it does pick up on a bit of my skin texture but that is nice i feel fresh do the other side as well worst place to get cheek tatty right there because when you want to highlight it it just looks like you've tried to cover your own face makeup I'm going to highlight the top of my lip a little bit and then the tip of my nose. It's nice. Looks good. It's not actually as glittery as the other one I have, to be fair. Maybe I'm kind of misremembering the texture of it or maybe the texture of this colour is just a little bit different. Sorry, my nose, getting a bit of chunky build up around my nose, that foundation and that powder. Maybe I went a bit, a bit ham. The next thing I'm going to put on is going to be the Soda Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Black Colt. I did use this for a previous video. I'm not trying it out for the first time. I just want to make that clear. I have already worn this, and it is the bomb, so that's why I'm using it again. But the lashes that I'm going to put on, which are the last thing, that's the last thing that's new that I've not tried. I'm also going to be wearing a Soda Lip Gloss and Soda Mascara. So when you come back, I will have my eyeliner done. I've done my eyeliner. It got a little bit crazy. I don't normally do my eyeliner so like, it's usually like a straight out flick. Um, but it kind of gives you an idea of how flexible that felt brush is because I was able to just sort of come straight in and do like a complete. So if you do like your eyeliner that shape, like devil horn moment, then great. Um, and you can probably get a nice straight edge with it. But to be honest, my hand just went whoop today. So, this is the eyeliner that we're wearing today. Not a problem. I'm gonna put some mascara on. And like I said, this is the um, this is this one from the soda video. 
it is the in case you were interested the crazy volume mascara in the shade black colt again next part i'm gonna do would be my lashes so these are the sosu jackson lashes in sinful desire i picked these up because i like my lashes to have quite a bit of a curve into them and i like them to be really fluffy as well i'm gonna trim these down and stick them on probably off camera and then come back with them on i'm back and i have my lashes on and i have to say for quite an affordable pair of lashes they have a very comfortable lash band there's a little bit here that's kind of poking me in the eye but i think it's just the way that i've positioned it because this side is absolutely fine they have a really comfortable lash band it's one of those see-through like flexible type lash bands um and i just trimmed them to fit and they trimmed really nice they didn't start to fray or anything like that and pretty much where i've stuck them and i've waited for my lash glue to go tacky they've pretty much stayed put so for a cheap pair of lashes they are really nice and do you know what they're quite natural looking as well well as natural looking as a false lash can look what i'm going to do now is just to finish it off is use the soda lip gloss in the shade peach queen and that will be us all finished if you guys enjoyed this make sure to comment down below let me know if you're going to buy any of the products that i spoke about today i mean if you're going to buy this buy it two shades lighter than you are because this shit oxidizes that's all I'm saying. Um, and yeah, I just want to know your thoughts, really. If you found this to be an enjoyable video to watch. If you would like me to do a um, opposite to this, as in doing the price the highest to lowest, I will do it. I can't say that it's going to be any time, you know, directly in the upcoming weeks. Because I need to make sure that I'm back at work um, in order to kind of buy stuff for a video like this. So... <laughs> But yes, so if you'd like an opposite to this, the finding products via the price filter low. So this was the low to high. If you'd like me to do that high to low, then let me know. And that's something that I will look at for you. It'll probably be very much the same as this. We'll have um, contour, highlight, blusher, brows, mascara, liner. I'll try and actually do that this time. Um, concealer. What else do we use? We used foundation. I didn't use a primer because I just don't want to spend money on primers primers that i've tried so many primers this honestly is my favorite the milk hydro grip um i've tried out the elf poreless putty primer wasn't a fan absolutely hated it it's currently just sat in my drawer not being used which i feel terrible about but at least it wasn't you know like this price at least it was cheap um so yeah if you want me to do another one of these let me know i hope you have a good day i hope you found this entertaining in some way just stay safe and yeah, just, yeah, thank you very much.